In this video, we're going to discuss the first of three steps in a real estate lead funnel, also known as a sales funnel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski, and I help real estate agents grow their business through marketing so they don't have to do any old school prospecting. If you'd like more of my videos delivered to your inbox, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget the ringy dingy bell button or YouTube just may not send them to you. In order to understand a real estate lead funnel and how to generate and convert leads, we're going to refer back to the tribe agent roadmap. By the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can download this, get a free version for yourself. In previous videos, we've covered the foundation phase. I'll put a link in the description to these videos and maybe up in one of these corners as well. In the foundation stage, we covered the avatar. Who's your ideal client and what problems do they have? Then we talked about what message will work or attract your avatar. Then we discussed how you're going to help them. Now that the foundation is done, we move into the authority phase. And the first part is attract. And that's what this video focuses on because that's the first step of your real estate lead funnel. This step simply focuses on delivering the solution to your avatar's problem. Your signature solution, which is right here, will maybe focus on how to increase the value of their home. However, however, this is so important, your lead magnet, which you are going to deliver in the attract phase, your lead magnet can't be very confusing. In other words, you can't give them like a 10 page PDF or a book saying, well, here are all the steps. The best lead magnets, the best way to attract the perfect client that you want to work with is to help them solve one little problem. So if a seller is online and they're looking at how to, maybe they need some tips and tricks on curb appeal, for example, or what to do to maximize value by making their kitchen look nicer, for example. You don't wanna give them information overload. You just wanna give them one piece of information. They can download it. You want them to look at that and say, wow, now that information was amazing. And guess what? you're the agent that's delivering this information. And now your avatar, your prospect is thinking, if this is the information they're giving me on this one piece of puzzle I want to solve, what else do they have? They're giving this information for free. Maybe I should look into this agent a little bit more. That should be the goal. That should be the focus of the top of your funnel. Essentially, they're going to download something that's going to introduce you into their life. It's not a sales pitch. You're giving value. You're educating your ideal prospect on how to go from point A to point B, like I explained in the previous video. The other way I can explain the attract step or the top of your funnel is like inviting a stranger into your home. They've never been into your home. You're meeting them for the first time. You want to make a great first impression. You're both a little nervous. You open the front door and you lead them into your family room. Nothing has happened yet. You're simply welcoming them in. You're giving them your best first impression and you're guiding them through your home to where you're about to sit down in the family room. You haven't sat down yet you've invited them in and now they feel very welcome. They feel comfortable with you. That is the top of the funnel. You just want to invite them into your world. Question, have you ever walked into a store and you want to buy something, but you're not quite sure what yet? You have a general idea of what you wanna buy. Let's, let's call it a health food store. These places are confusing. Every time I go in there, I don't know what aisle to go into. There are 20 different protein products you can buy. 20, forget that, more like 200. So you walk in, somebody approaches you and says, can I help you? What is your natural instinct? What is your reaction? Obviously you say, no, I'm just looking. Why do you say that? You may not want to be sold. You're not comfortable just yet. You're trying to get your bearings. You've barely made your way into the store and a salesperson is already attacking you, asking you, 
can I help you? Well, sure, eventually you're going to need help, but first you have to deflate and think, okay, what's my next step? What do I need to do? And the only way I know how to relate that to real estate is if somebody walks into your open house and they know they're looking for a home, you know possibly they're looking for a home, and you say, hey, can I help you find a home? Well, yeah, they technically may need help, but they're not going to say yes to you right away. You may be the best agent on the face of this earth. You may be the nicest, most polite person, but chances are they're not going to just come out and say, yeah, 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 can you help me? I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying the chances are like this small. Now, let me back up here a little bit. What if that morning you were online? You were Googling protein for yourself. You had a specific need and you you came across a website online and it asked you for your end result. It asked you to input, are you male, female, how old you are, what's your weight, what's your goal, is it to build muscle, is it to lose weight, and you fill all this out. The next page comes up and it says, hey, listen, thanks for filling out the questionnaire. Our recommendations will be emailed to you right away. Take a look at that. So you go to your inbox, you open it, and you see this PDF download. You open it up and it says, you are a male or female and it gives you this description of who you are and then it makes recommendations of maybe five to ten proteins and it tells you why why you should choose these specific proteins wouldn't information like that be very helpful uh of course it would this website essentially saved you hours of research and it made recommendations what happened there was they just brought you through the top of the lead funnel. And now you're looking at them as an expert, as an authority. You're reading the email or the downloaded PDF, the guide that, that they provided you. You're looking at that going, wow, now that was useful and very helpful. I wonder what else they have. That's how you want your prospect to feel. There was no selling. They didn't tell you everything there is to know about protein. No, what they did was solve one problem. They made you go from point A, having a problem, to point B, hey, here's our recommendations. And now you feel good. The top of the funnel is designed to do exactly that. For you to bring your lead into your world, and then eventually you will guide them through the funnel, making you look like an authority. Does that make sense? This step, the attract step, is there to exchange information. You're going to give your prospect some information and in return, they're going to give you their contact information. That is the only thing the top of the funnel is designed to do. It's like you opening the front door, letting somebody into your home. That's it, it's only the first step of your funnel. And of course you may be thinking, okay, but where does this happen? Well, the top of the lead funnel can happen on a squeeze page and that's majority of the time. That's where it happens most of the time on a website or a squeeze page, a landing page. It all means the same thing. Or it could be Facebook messenger. It could be Facebook lead ads. It could be click funnels. It could be, I mean, it could be lead pages. There are so many different options you can choose. But remember, the top of the lead funnel is designed to exchange information and for you to make a great first impression and to deliver something of great value. It doesn't mean a lot of information. It just means one tiny piece of your signature solution that makes you look like an authority and it makes your prospect feel Great, amazing, like now I understand. Thank you for solving this problem for me. Here's a question for you. Do you have a lead magnet that you use? If you do, let me know what it is. What is your messaging? How are you attracting your ideal prospect? Essentially, what are you delivering? If you like this video, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe, the ringy dingy bell button, of course, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.